Hello, good morning. It is day 15 of Vlogmas and it is Thursday. Yes, it is Thursday. This is my first day alone in a very long time. David had one and a half weeks off to get some time off in December, which was a really nice change of how December usually is. So uh, we've been having a lot of time together, which has been very nice. Um, but yeah, today is my first day alone again since that. Um, and to be honest, I'm feeling a little bit directionless, um, but it's okay. I'll get back into how to go about my days quite quickly, I think, because I have a lot of years experience of that. So, uh, but today, I am planning on working a bit on my art, um, the one that I still can't show you because it's a secret for now. Um, but, but yeah, I'm going to work on that because it needs done. Uh, I haven't worked on it in a few days and yeah, I need to get a move on. And also we are going to be sorting out the shelves today. Uh, I want to work as much as possible on this today so I can do some sewing or, or at least some cutting out of fabric tomorrow of my stays that I like started at the start of um, Vlogmas. I really need those done and I also really need to um, plan out what I'm doing with my bullet journal so I can film that video. But yeah, I'll get, I'll get around to everything <laughs> but um, yeah, for starters I'm going to be painting a bit digitally so yeah that is happening I'm just waiting for my coffee to be finished brewing and then I will uh, get on with it <laughs> so yeah I will talk to you later I just need to show you. Um, if you've been there for a while, you, you've seen this before, but this was my first ever spun yarn. This is Elsa's fur. This was my second ever spun yarn. <laughs> it's also Elsa. It is very thick and thin. Cat is pretty hard to spin if you haven't spun cat. She's a Persian cat, so she has a lot of like, she has a very, really long staple fur. Um, but yeah, it's really soft. It doesn't smell like Elsa anymore, but... Um, this is one of my latest spins. Um, I've got a couple in progress, as you know, but... There you go. Pretty big glow up, right? I also have this spin. Yeah, I know, I should be organising, but uh, I also have this. This is not Elsa, obviously, but this is a Elsa-covered uh, roving that I spun. Um, pretty similar colours. <laughs> this is also uh, a recent spin. Um, yeah. Just thought I'd share that. <laughs> but yeah, these are all hand-spun at the moment that's going into the cubby. I think I might move them around, but yeah, I'm gonna get back to organising and talk to you after.
Okay, I have sorted out most of... Hello, Cheddar. I have sorted out most of the cubbies. Ah, uh, if you can see. Let's do that. Um, so I've got wool and spinning stuff. I also got totes of wool in the walk-in closet. But that wool is all like raw. It's, it's been washed, but it's not uh, dyed or anything. So it's just straight off the sheep and then washed. So I've got a ton of that in another room. But here I've got some spinning and some wool. I've got empty project bags, project bags. And then up top we have, let's see, these two are hand spun, and then it's sock yarn and minis, and then we have sucky yarns of different kinds. Ah, uh, sorry, I made a seek sick but And in here is the next step, which I might not do today because this took all afternoon and I'm absolutely spent. Uh, but in here, it is right now got, okay, some stuff I need to put in the spinning, and this is needles so I need to sort that out as well but uh, in here I'm gonna keep bullet journal stuff and here I'm not sure what I'm gonna put yet but I'm gonna keep it empty for now uh, and just actually I'm gonna stuff my really really big project bag right there that is the blanket that I just need to add edging to but I don't have white yarn for that, so that's something I should pick up so I can finish it because this is almost done. I don't know if I've talked about it. Yeah, I've, I've shown you, but it's... It's very big. I've joined all the squares. I just need to do a border and I haven't. So that's my big, one big uh, crochet project <laughs> that I really need to finish. So I'm just going to stuff that there and move it later but yeah in here is gonna be full of general stuff and i've got a bunch of stuff that i find some frog candidates in a box that i i'm gonna sort this out as well but i'm too tired right now so <laughs> in a tote they go and i've got a ton of ball bands just scattered around me that came out of the totes as well so yeah, th this has been this has been a project, and I am very tired, but it feels nice to start getting some organisation in the shelves. So that is pretty much that. And now I'm going to relax for a bit because my back is absolutely dead after doing this. Hey, good man. We have a tiny visitor. Are you going to say hello? Hey. Cool. Oh, shit shod. Not at all pleased. Did not want that. <laughs> I also found this tiny little masked dog that I've had since I was like, I don't know, 10. Um, and a ton of stitch markers. So I've restocked my stitch marker um, notions box. This one, I've restocked it, it's full to the brim again. I've been in dire need of stitch markers lately. And now I have some because I found them in bags. So it's, it's always a good idea to go through your stash every now and then and your projects. So yeah, um, that is about that for my stash, for my sorting outage of my stash. Hey! Um, yeah. And down here, I didn't show you, but down here I've just got fingering and lace weight, uh, scraps and minis that have all been already balled up. And in here we have <laughs> uh, sport weight, DK and heavier um, scraps and, and uh, yeah, and whatnot. So, feels good. But yeah, that's that. We'll do this one tomorrow. 
I am calling it for the day. I am going to relax and make a cup of tea, I think. It's, it's getting late. I don't know where I put my phone, probably sitting on it. I'm not, Cheddar is probably sitting on it. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Thank you. 